What happened to Adeline? Adeline received cancer of the throat. But I was very happy that I was I was led by the Holy Spirit to go see her one morning. I couldn't sleep all night, and I knew that Adeline wasn't right with God, and I knew that Mother had claimed her. And I went to her that morning, I called her up and says, Adeline, honey, I gotta come down and see you. Well, she said, what are you coming down so early in the morning for? I says, I'm troubled. I got something very important to tell you. Then I told her, I said, Adeline, I says, remember Mother's commitment that none of her household should perish? She claimed her whole household. And I says, I'm here this morning. I couldn't sleep all night because I'm concerned. I says, how is your relationship to Jesus Christ? And she says, Cam, it isn't as good as I'd like to have it to be. And I said, well, let's make it good. She says, all right. And she put her arm around me, and that morning she rededicated her life to Jesus Christ. And then she died of cancer three months later because she had cancer in her throat on account of smoking. So you see, there's a law of sowing and reaping. Maybe there's some here this morning that's playing around with God. Don't play with God. Don't play with God. Maybe you've lost your touch with the Lord. Renew that touch. Maybe your fellowship isn't as, as sweet as it was. Get it reinstated. How many this morning feel that this message has encouraged you and this morning you want to take a new thrust for God May I see your hand? Why do you say we just get up out of your seat? Maybe there's some here that has never accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior. I persuade you. I plead with you. I beg of you. Give Jesus a try in your life. You will never, never, never regret it. It's been the greatest 43 years of my life. And until I have breath within me, this is a message that I'm going to proclaim. Jesus saves, He keeps, He satisfies this wonderful friend of mine. Someday I'll meet Him in the sky, this wonderful friend of mine. Get up out of your seat and let's fill the altar, shall we? I'm not going to ask for no personal commitment this morning. I, th I think enough has been said. Maybe you have valleys, depression. Let's renew our faith, our strength with the Lord. Maybe your family isn't saved. Let's get desperate with God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God wants, He wants us totally dedicated and committed to Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Perhaps there's others. Let's make this a rally day for God. You're not here per chance. You're here because the Holy Spirit has driven you here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, if there's ever a time we need to make commitments to God, let's do it now. We're living in peerless times. It isn't going to get any better. I think what we should do, let's do it with all our might. Hallelujah. Let's not have no wasted lives. The biggest regret I had that I had a few years of wasted life. I wish I could say I have served God all my life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
God's looking down at every heart. He's got a searchlight on every young couple here. Hallelujah. And he can use every one of us. We are valuable in his sight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> May I just ask a question? <clears throat> How many is here this morning for the first time to confess Jesus Christ as your Savior? May I see your hand anywhere? First time. Anywhere. Yes, we have one here. Have, have, have another one here. Do you see why God wanted this message proclaimed? Do you see why I couldn't get it anything else together? There was, there was an encouragement here for you. Hallelujah. And I don't think the work is done. Could there be others? Young men, young women. Let's give God everything that we have. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What I want done, I want to have the board, please. I want you to take these folks that have raised their hands, and I want you to take them in the prayer room. Have, have a little fellowship with them. Have a prayer with them. And then we're going to have a song in closing for you who are there. And let us pray that this will be the beginning of something great in our lives. Hallelujah. You who have raised your hand, just follow the board. We want to help you and encourage you. Go right with the board. Look what God's doing here to these precious people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is what it's all about. We must, I mean must, see souls saved we have to we have to reproduce seed of our kind one of them souls is valued more than the whole world let's get a burden for them how many has loved ones that you like to see saved how many feel that you're desperate enough pray God for a fresh desperation and we are going to see Amen. if he can do it in our family, he can do it in your family. Amen. God Praise is not a respecter of person. He can do it in all of our families. Praise the Lord. We have just been fortunate. God has added special blessing to us. And I say, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason he wants us to spread it abroad. Amen. Spread it to the world what God can do. Hallelujah. Praise. Praise the Lord. What do you have, sister? Okay, let's sing How Great Thou Art, the chorus to it. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. Savior God. 